It is about 2.30 p.m. in the Yendi municipality. We are on a mission to establish a case of widespread brutality involving an army officer. However, this army officer is an unknown enemy ravaging several economies on the African continent, from Nigeria to South Africa, Kenya to Uganda, and finally here in Ghana. And as it turned out, the army officer was having a field day when we finally arrived. The dreaded alien crop pest, popularly known as the fall army worm, continues unabated to embark on a mission of destruction across several parts of this country. Several communities have been affected and the worm has officially made a gallant entry into the northern region. And for the farmers here, they are losing out while the weight of the country's food basket is fast reducing. This green scenery may pass for a healthy crop farm, but a closer look reveals otherwise. The west affected areas include Bimbila, Wilensi, Zabzogo, Pandai, Tatale and Yendi. Several maize farms are on the verge of destruction while production cost is on an endless trajectory upwards. Indeed, the army worm is hitting farmers' pockets very hard. All uh, maize farmers, all farmers has crying. Any one thing, the army worms, they have destroyed all the farmers, more than 4,000 acres in this community. At Bumbalaga, a village which is five miles away from the Yendi township, we meet 65 year old Mohammed Fuseini weeding and inspecting his farm after several hours of spraying pesticides. Fuseini is not a happy man because all the money he spent on pesticides is not yielding any result. He told us that his 7.2 acre maize farm is fast becoming a liability due to the four army worm invasion. <laughs> The worms are just frustrating our efforts. All our monies are being wasted. Government must really intervene. A few meters away from the central business district in Yendi, another farmer, 30 year old Fuseni Isahaku, fears his large family will soon go hungry as the maize farm he had invested so much in is being wasted by the destructive worm. It's affecting us negatively because we were going to depend on this maize, the process from here, to feed ourselves from the end of this season, from harvest till the next season. How do we get food? The four army worm originates from North and South America and it is usually dispersed by wind and burrows in maize, making it difficult to detect. On the African continent, the pest was first reported in September 2016 in West Africa, but it has now spread to South Africa, East Africa and Central Africa with no studies being conducted to ascertain the most effective control method, the management options being adopted by most African countries are purely experimental. An agric officer with the Yendi Municipal Assembly, Abubakar Muhammad, admits the fight against the devastating worm has become extremely tough because the alien pest has developed resistance to all recommended chemicals to deal with it. Yesterday we were busy on the field and we have not brought yesterday's uh, surveillance report together. I am sure by now what is now in the officer's hand will be going up around 100 farmers or more okay. now. But how do you feel as an agric officer having these farmers come daily to report about this issue? We are honest, I'm honestly desperate about that situation. Because to look at your farmers losing their main source of income. Because there's no farming community uh, household here that will not crop maize. And that is a serious food security challenges 
we are about to face. According to the Municipal Chief Executive for Yendi, Alhaji Ahmed Abubakar, dealing with the four army worms does not only appear fruitless, but it is also a costly affair. He said government's response to the attack since it broke last year has been slow, too slow to save the country's food basket. Sometimes the interventions come when the harm has been caused already. So I will advise that any time uh, any, I mean, they, they hear of any, then, then they must rush, must provide the intervention very, very quickly. But it's not proper for them to waste until the harm is caused before you come out with huge sums of money to buy chemicals and you buy the chemicals when the harm has been caused, yet you will use them and nothing will be recovered. Maize is a major staple in Ghana, and with a four army worm becoming a hard nut to crack, simply means your favorite Banku, Tuazafi, Kenke, Graphic and Times, and the likes will soon be off your dining table. Red One, Karim Dini Osman, GH1 News, Yendi, Northern Region.